What is up everyone, it's me named Jamie and welcome back to another Elite Diary Guide. In today's video we will be going over the Elite Falador Diary. Before we start the video, I'd like to give a massive shout out to anyone who has subbed recently because it really does mean a lot to me. And I would also like to remind everyone that about 97% of the people who watch are not subscribed. So if you find these videos useful, it would mean a lot to me if you could just go down below and hit the subscribe button. To start the guide, let's go over the quest requirements. For this diary, the only mandatory quest you will need to have completed is the Wanted quest. You may, however, also want to have completed every other quest for the quest cape, but if you don't have access to the quest cape, any 99 skill cape will also do here. For your skill requirements, you will need 88 runecrafting, 91 farming, 75 woodcutting, 80 agility, and 81 herblore. For your inventory requirements, you will want to have 28 pure essence, an air tiara, a spade, a rake, 25 coconuts, a magic sapling, a quest cape or any 99 skill cape, a crushed bird's nest, a toad flax potion unfinished, and two Falador teleports. Once you have all that and you're ready to start the guide, teleport yourself over to Falador. Once you are here, run west and then south along the wall until you reach the agility shortcut. Climb over it and then run northwest over to the Taverly Dungeon. Once inside, run slightly north and climb over this strange floor agility obstacle to complete task number one. Next, teleport yourself back to Falador. Once here, run south into the castle. To the west, there should be a door and a staircase. Climb the staircase and continue climbing all the subsequent staircases until you reach the top of the castle. Once you are here, equip your skill cape or quest cape and do the skill or quest cape emote to finish task number two. Next, head back downstairs and across the bridge. Run east over to the Falador Park to plant your magic sapling. Once here, rake the patch, plant the sapling, and then pay the woman gardener 25 coconuts to watch your tree. This is to make sure that it doesn't die. We will be back in eight hours to cut this tree down and complete task number three. Once that is done, Head slightly south to the bank here. Once inside the bank, combine your bird's nest with your unfinished toad flax potion to complete task number four. Next, equip your air tiara and then bank the rest of your stuff. Withdraw the 28 pure essence you should have brought with you and run west out of the bank and then directly south all the way out of Falador. Once you are outside of Falador, run slightly southwest until you reach the air altar. Head inside and craft your 252 air runes to complete task number five. Once that is done, head back to Falador Bank to get geared up to kill the Black Knights. For gear for this, I highly recommend your best full range gear you can afford and a blowpipe. These guys really don't hit that much or at all, so I recommend going full damage bonus gear like Void or full Armadale. You can also go a Whip and Fighter Torso if you would like to save money on scales. For my inventory, I brought a cannon, which I think is sort of a must have as it's going to greatly speed this up 
and I also brought around 3.5k cannonballs, which I found was almost exactly enough. Additionally, I also have some divine ranging potions to speed up the kills, and the rest I just brought as food even though I didn't use any food at all. Before we start, I wanted to show you guys something super useful, which is that if you go into your quest logs and find the wanted quest, you can actually click into it to see how many black knights you have killed. Everyone starts at 100, which is the novelty level, and you have to get to 1300 in order to complete task number 6, meaning you have to kill 1200 black knights. Now that we have gone over all this, it's time to show you where we're going to be doing this. So the best spot, I think, is in the Taverly Dungeon, which is where we completed step number one. So from Falador, head west and then south over the agility shortcut, and then northwest over to the dungeon entrance. Once inside, head north a little bit until you reach this gate on the east side. Open it, and then open the next gate directly east of it. Once you have passed through both gates, run all the way east until you reach the edge of the room. At the edge of the room, you should find a path you can follow all the way south. Follow this path all the way south until it ends, and it eventually should bring you to the Black Knight base. If you get lost during this, feel free to check your minimap as it will show you where to go, or just follow me on video. Once you are here, lay down your cannon in the spot you find best. For me, I just used the recommended spot on Runelight, which is here, but some people like going a little east of here and standing in between the two chairs so that they don't get attacked while their cannon goes to town. Overall, I'm not sure it makes that much of a difference. Just make sure you put on auto retaliate and go AFK and just look back over your screen to fill your cannon up. This should take you total about an hour and a half, which is actually not that bad for a diary requirement. Once you have all 1300 kills, make your way back to Falador with 1920 coins in your inventory. Head into the castle and then head east. Go through all three doors and then up the ladder. Then go west through this door here and up the staircase. Upstairs you should find Sir Vivian. Buy a two-handed white sword from him in order to complete task number 6. After 8 hours, come back to the Falador Park with your axe and spade, and chop down your magic tree that you should have grown. This can actually take a little bit of time since these things are a pain to cut down. Once you have fully cut it down, you should be able to dig it up, and you should receive around 3 to 4 magic roots from it, completing task number 3, which you started earlier. And with that, congratulations you have now finished the Falador Elite Diary. Head back over to the castle and talk to Sir Rebrell in the east of the courtyard to collect your reward. Remember if the guide helped you to like, comment, and subscribe as it really does help me out. And the discord is in the description down below if you want to go ahead and join. And with that, remember that my name is Jamie, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!